Hi everyone, just want to update you on our plans for this weekend of May 23rd and 24th. So we've done uh, a lot of planning. I just want to let you know what we know right now. Over 300 people have indicated uh, that they want to attend Mass uh, this weekend. That's wonderful. But we're going to have to take a lot of precautions to make sure that we are safe. So first thing is, please, if you haven't uh, filled out the poll to let us know whether you want to come or not, please do so. If you know someone else who has not yet filled out the poll, please ask them to do so that we have accurate information. Uh, once we know the more or less what the act actual numbers are of the people who want to come uh, for this weekend, um, then we will have a sign up later on during the week so that you can choose which mass you intend to, to come to. Now there are two important changes that we're making for this weekend. First of all, the mass times. This uh, We are going to have mat two masses on Saturday night now, 4.30 p.m. and 7 p.m. And on Sunday the 24th, we're going to have two masses at 10 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. Why are we having these perhaps unusual mass times? First, the technology team is going to be present at all four masses so that um, those of us who are downstairs in the hall will have as best a mass experience as possible. So rather than just having one camera um, just static the entire time, we will try to have all three cameras going, good sound, and really a good experience. That's the first reason. Uh, second reason is that we want to have one and a half hours between the masses so that the cleaning team really has a chance to uh, clean thoroughly and everything will be safe for the next Mass. Um, another change that we are going to do is uh, we're thinking about having what's we're planning on having what's called a community Mass. Basically if you sign up for the 12.30 p.m. Mass this Sunday we would ask you to only go to that Mass. You can't change and then if you go to the 12.30 we'd ask you to go to that Mass for the next month or so so that if anyone does contract COVID-19, then we will be able to inform those people rather than everyone switching every week. And that would be hard, harder to trace. That's somewhat inconvenient, but we think it's the right thing to do to keep everyone safe and still allow everyone to go to mass. I just wanna also add that I hope families as much as possible can um, go together as, as a family. If you're living together, go together to mass. If you're planning to go together, as a family go together to the same mass. So that's basically it for now. Um, these decisions that they might seem very small but they've taken a long time just to think through to go through all the various options. Um, thank you to the whole team that's been helping guiding us a lot of different teams involved and thank you for your patience and your understanding. There are going to be more questions and developments this week so please look forward to those. Um, be patient also and then finally this uh, weekend, if you are coming from Mass, please keep in mind this will be the first time we will be um, doing so, taking so many precautions and doing so many safety measures. So please be patient when you come. Be aware that there are going to be um, unexpected occurrences. And so we're just going to accept that. We're going to go in knowing, well, there are going to be a few things that won't be polished as usual. But that's the right thing to do. I hope you have a blessed week. And keep on, as well, we talked about in the Sunday homily, keep on reverencing Christ as Lord in your heart. God bless everyone.